Welcome back to That's Life with John Carver. Today I want to share some thoughts with you on build your bridges and your walls. Build your bridges and your walls. You're saying, John, what are you talking about? Give me a few minutes. I'll, I'll kind of explain. There are certain, let's start with walls. There are certain walls that you and I need to build around us because if we don't build these walls, then we're going to be bombarded by stuff. Let me share uh, an example or two. It is essential if you want to be any type of successful person in your life that you have to build walls around you from the negative people in your life. I'd say more than 80% of the public tends to be on the negative side. Watching the news every day can breed negativity into your own mind. People that don't know that they don't know can breed negativity in your own mind, which will, in fact, cloud what you're trying to accomplish in your life. So building those walls to protect your ears, your eyes, your senses, your mind especially, from negative people is truly essential if you want to uh, develop your own mind in a way that can accomplish some great things in your own life because those negative people will breed self-doubt. And you're already struggling with certain things in your own life, so why would you want to invite people into your world through allowing them to hang around you while allowing them to feed and or seed your mind with negativity and you're already going through struggles in your own life. Don't do that. So build those walls around you and frankly and coming from experience it will offend some people. Well be polite about it but you have to distance yourself from people that are not going in the same direction that you're going. Let me say it again. Sometimes you have to distance yourself from people that are not going in the same direction that you're going because we only have a finite amount of time on this planet. That's pretty obvious. Some of us have less time than others. So it's very important for you to, to be specific about who you choose to hang around. So a, a bridge that is going to be helpful for you is learning from other people's experiences, other people's knowledge, other people's mistakes. So not only do you build walls around you of, to keep away negative people, but you build bridges to people who have learned much over the years. And the easiest way I can recommend this, and I'll say this in multiple shows, it is essential that you read the books by successful people and about successful people. Because if you're not reading about them, how are you going to know? I mean, most of us can't afford to invest twenty or thirty thousand dollars for somebody's time who's been very rich and or successful but you can read their books you can read their their words their information that can help you learn from them so if you want a shortcut if there's such a thing as a shortcut to success you build the bridges to other people's successes and their experiences by reading about them that's an essential shortcut if you really want to master some skills in your own life that you've been trying to develop or maybe you've wanted to develop over the years. So the, the, the final bridge I want to share with you here today is the bridge of accountability. Again, the bridge of accountability. That is to place yourself in accountability to other people. Let me share a quick story. So a few years back, I started this new venture that was pretty substantial for me out of my comfort zone. I was quite nervous and I used the word scared to do it. But I knew that if I didn't share what I wanted to do with the public, then the fear of accomplishing this would um, overwhelm me and I would not go for it. So what I did was I shared it with my circle. I shared it with a wider audience. This is what I'm going to do. So now I was, if the old term is, I was hung by my tongue. I, I now had to do it. I was now accountable by my own mouth, by my own words. So either I was going to do it or I was going to be viewed as a liar. And those who know me know I'm not a liar. I'm not going to, I'm not going to take that chance. No way. So I took the, the steps. I took the leap. I took the, the huge step to do what I was going to do that has eventually touched millions of homes. So make yourself accountable to other people that will hold you accountable to force yourself to be pushed out of your comfort zone, 
to do some things that maybe you thought that you couldn't do, but you really wanted to do for the benefit of other people. My name is John Carver. Thanks for watching, and remember, I believe in you.